Blasts and crashes has been the order of the week that has gone by. Even then, there has been the valleys of happiness in between. Welcome once again to News Analysis. News Analysis, a weekly magazine on current affairs. To begin with the main points in a nutshell. Online classes gets popular now. A University of Florida lesson. CD scans cut lung cancer deaths, study finds. Attack on mosque in northwest Pakistan kills 45. Qantas hauls all 380 Airbuses after an emergency landing in Singapore. Quake ridden Haiti, now rampaged by Hurricane Thomas. Obama in India, don't expect fireworks. And now the news in detail. Learning in dormitories because class is on the web. Like most other undergraduates, Anish Patel likes to sleep in. Even though his principles of microeconomics class at 9.35 a.m. is just five minutes stroll from his dorm, he would rather flip open his laptop in his room to watch the lecture streamed live over the campus network. On a recent morning, as Mr. Patel's two roommates slept with covers pulled tightly over their heads, he sat at his desk taking notes on Professor Mark Roach's explanation of the term perfect competition. A camera zoomed in for a close-up of the backboard where Dr. Rush has scribbled in chalk lots of firms and lots of buyers. The curtains were drawn in the dorm room. The floor was awash with the float sand of the three freshmen, clothes, backpacks, homework, packages of chips, ahoy and Captain Crunch's crunch berries. The University of Florida broadcasts and archives Doc Roos lectures less on the convenience of sleepy students like Mr. Patel than for a simple principle of economics. 1,500 undergraduates are enrolled and no lecture hall could possibly hold them. Dozens of popular courses in psychology, statistics, biology and other fields are also offered primarily online. Students on the scenic campus of Stately Oaks rarely meet classmates in these courses. Online education is best known for serving older, non-traditional students who cannot travel to colleges because of jobs and family. But the same technologies of the distance learning are now finding their way onto brick and mortar campuses, especially public institutions hit hard by declining state funds. At the University of Florida, for example, resident students are earning 12% of their credit hours online this semester, a figure expected to grow to 25% in five years. This may delight undergraduates who do not have to change out pajamas to attend class, but it also raises questions that go to the core of a college's mission. It's possible to learn as much when your professor is a mass of pixels where you never meet. How much of students' education and growth, academic and personal, depends on face-to-face -face contact with instructors and fellow students? Across the country, online education is exploding. 4.6 million students took a college-level online course during fall 2008, up 17% from year earlier, according to the Sloan Service of Online Learning. A large majority, about 3 million, were simultaneously enrolled in face-to-face -face courses, belying the popular notion that most online students live far from campuses, said Jeff Seaman, co-director of the survey. Many are in community colleges, he said. Very few attend private colleges. Families paying dollars fifty-three thousand a year demand low student-faculty ratios. CD scans cut lung cancer deaths, study finds. Annual CD scans of current and former heavy smokers reduce their risk of death from lung cancer by 20%. A huge government finance study has found. 
Even more surprising, the scan seemed to reduce the risk of death from other causes as well, suggesting that the scans could be catching other illnesses. The findings represent an enormous advance in cancer detection that could potentially save thousands of lives annually, although at considerable expenses. Lung cancer will claim about 157,000 lives this year, more than the deaths from colorectal, breast, pancreatic and prostate cancers combined. Most patients discover their disease is too late for treatment and 85% die from it. No screening method has proved effective at reducing mortality from these diseases. Four randomized controlled trials done during 1970s showed that chest x-rays, while they helped catch cancers at an earlier stage, had no effect on overall death rates. Since then, researchers have suggested that CD scans, which use coordinated x-rays to provide three-dimensional views, could detect lung tumors at an even earlier stage than x-rays. This is the first time that we have seen clear evidence of a significant reduction in lung cancer mortality with a screening test in a randomized controlled trial, said Dr. Christine Berg of the National Cancer Institute. But health officials involved in the study refused to endorse widespread screening of current and former smokers, saying more analysis of the study's results is needed to further identify who benefited most. Such an analysis is months away. And they pointed out the study offers no reassurance about the safety of smoking or advisability of CD scans for younger smokers or non-smokers. No one should come away from this thinking that it's safe to continue smoke, said Dr. Harold E. Varmas, director of the National Cancer Institute. Attack on mosque in northwest Pakistan kills 45. At least 45 people have been killed and more than 70 injured in a suicide bomb attack on a mosque in northwest Pakistan, local officials say. The attack took place during Friday prayers in Dara Adam Kale area near Pakistan's tribal regions. The roof of the mosque had caved in and the death toll was likely to raise, officials say. It was not immediately clear who carried out the attack, the latest in a series of mosque and shrine bombings. The Pakistani Taliban have claimed responsibility for such attacks in the past and have been active in Dara area. Witnesses contacted by press reporters said the bomber was on foot. He blew himself up at the main gate of the mosque after Friday prayers had ended and worshippers were coming out of the mosque. We fear there might be more casualties in the debris. One official said some of them injured are in critical condition. The target could have been a tribal elder who had encouraged people to take stand against the Taliban, according to one report. It's not clear whether he was among the victims. The wounded have been taken to a nearby hospital. The mosque is in the village of Akurwal, about 45 kilometers of south of Peshawar. The Dara region links up with Aurakzai and Khyber tribal regions in the west and has served as a convenient base for militants attacking NATO supply convoys as well as Shia commuters from Kurram. And now, before we close today's news analysis, let's have a recap of the headlines. Online classes get popular now. A University of Florida lesson. CD scans cut lung cancer deaths, study finds. Attack on mosque in northwest Pakistan kills 45. Qantas halts all 380 Airbuses after an emergency landing in Singapore. Quake-ridden Haiti, now rampaged by Hurricane Thomas. Obama in India, don't expect fireworks. 
and there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.